I'm on my way down to Waterville for a weekend of eating fries, drinking beer in Jameson's. Oh, and catch a few trout. Oh, I see I don't have the place to myself this weekend. I recognize that fella. I haven't seen him for a while. That's the honest fisherman. Hello! Match the hatch, lads. <laughs> What's he up to? Has he lost the plot? <laughs> and they call get me the, the mad fisherman. There's only one left. I better get him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the, the height of me. You got one? Well, would you believe it? Oh my god, that just looks like the As the Crow Flies Fly. Doesn't it? Yeah, I'd say that As the Crow Flies Fly will do deadly today. That's unbelievable. I'll keep that fella <laughs> now and I'll try him for the day. <laughs> you have that on the end of the rod? Three years, Vince. I never Three took years? It off. And did you, it's the same cast? Same cast. The oh whole my lot. god. Same clip of the whole lot. The same cast. What brake string is this? There's, uh, I think it's eight. Three years, and you got fish on it. And I got fish on it. I'll never take that off, Vince. Never take that fly off. That's the best fly that you've ever given me. The best fly I've ever got, actually, you know? Wow. And I intend to keeping it. And I'll be down on bending knee the next time looking for one off. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly kettle is on. And what's inside in the past? And the stew is boiling, I'll show you now. You got it. Oh, that looks good. The dog's dinner. <laughs> huh? Save the cleaning up afterwards as you straighten the pot in the lazy sod I am, you know that? <laughs> Tell you something, Vince. We'd survive or other men would perish. Wipe your feet in the mat now before you go into the kitchen. <laughs> I'll put on a quick little fry as he says, I don't want to perish. The other boat's coming in with two anglers that I've never seen before. And I see Stephen the bailiff is after arriving behind me. Will you have all the gear? Oh, we got all the gear, just we can't use it very well. <laughs> We try. That's all we can do. We discussed all the important things in the world, such as what ingredients should be included to make the perfect fry up, and what's the best beers and whiskies to drink. We agreed to differ and bid each other a farewell, and Stephen the Bailiff headed off to check the licenses were in order. He's doing a great job. And what's that? Another car is pulling up. Hiya, little fella. What are they for me? Yeah. Thanks, man. Cheers, thanks a lot. Oi, oi. <laughs> Cheers. One of my subscribers, Pat Bridgeman, and his kids came to the lake to give me a present of some beers. One of his kids is fearless. Oh, there's loads there, isn't there? You're not afraid to catch them? You catch them quicker in the grass, look. Gotcha! Got him! Got him! Got him! Spider had this. What is this? I don't know, some sort of egg or something. Uh, he had that in his. He had that, he was carrying that. And did you hold this, we're not afraid of holding the spider. I'm not afraid. So you held the spider and you pulled that out of his hand? Yeah. What is this? Show us. Tell us that. Wait, it's a, it's a little bag covered in. With eggs inside it. Oh yeah, that's his, uh, that's the egg sack. That's the egg sack, I think. Yeah, egg sack. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So what are you going to do with him now, eh? Are you going to bring him home? Yeah, see what yeah. see what he does. Yeah, no. Or she. That's the egg sack, 
Right, it's time to catch a fish. So I bid farewell to Pat Bridgeman and his kids. I thanked him for the beers and I said good luck to the honest fisherman. And I'm heading up to fish one of the Moncton lakes. The bridge the sheep built is still standing. Great feat of engineering. It's a tough slog, so we'll have a little dip on the way up to cool down. Lovely. That was thirsty work, and now it's time for a nice cold beer. And now let's catch some fish. I'm catching lots of fish and I'm having lots of fun. But I've seen a couple of very good sized trout rising, but they're out in the middle of the lake and I can't cast far enough to them. So I'm just hoping that one of them will come in near me and I may catch him at my fly. But these little lads are just absolutely great crack. <laughs> I'm having a great time. guys it's just unbelievable and there's a lake full of them a beautiful spot and it's free fishing and there's nobody here from one end of the year to the other it's unbelievable it is a bit of a trek up to the mountain lakes but it is worth the effort for the peace and tranquility what a beautiful place Waterville Lakes are. One thing is for sure, you will never be lonely as a fisherman, whether it's meeting fellow anglers by the lakesides or being at one with nature. There's always someone out there that shares the same love and passion for fishing as you do. and a fry and catch a fish. See ya. Good luck. And if you don't drink, it's time you start. Have a few pints and chillax. See ya. And the best part of a fry up for me is the accompaniment of the magic hip flask <coughs> for the chest. Cheers.